Congressman uh, Bridenstine, I want to read to you a short statement, and you can let me know if you agree or disagree. Climate warming trends over the past century are extremely likely due to human activities. Yes. I want to read to you a short statement. I want to see whether you agree with it. Global warming theories should not drive national energy policy without clear evidence. Uh, so I, I do believe, and I don't know what the context this of is. This is you, just okay. so you know. <laughs> sure. So I'll tell you what I believe. I believe carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Uh, I believe that humans have contributed to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. To what extent? Um, th that, is, that is a question I do not have an answer to. But I do know that humans have absolutely contributed to right, global warming. I, just because I only have five minutes here, I, I want to just be clear about what happens now. Uh, uh, testifiers have been essentially given permission to say climate change is real, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, and then they get into it's really impossible to decipher how much of these are natural and cyclical and how much of this is, is man-caused. But only in the halls of Congress is this a live debate. And what concerns me the most, uh, in addition to everything that Senator Nelson said, is that this is a science agency. And I get that you don't have a scientific background, and I don't begrudge you that, although it is true that previous administrators had extraordinary scientific backgrounds. But I don't begrudge you that because I don't have a scientific background. But you know what I do do is I defer to scientists. I rely on the scientific consensus. And the scientific consensus is not that it's really difficult to tell how much of climate change is attributable to human activity. The scientific consensus is that climate change is primarily caused by human activity. Do you agree with the scientific consensus? Uh, I if that's the scientific consensus that it's primarily driven by human activity, what I will tell you is that You don't human, know that that's the scientific human, consensus? Sir, I would say human activity absolutely is a contributor to the climate change that we are currently seeing. What is the scientific consensus about climate change? I, I think right now we're just scratching the surface as to the entire system of the Earth. And one of the great missions of NASA is the, um, the Earth Science Division of the Science Mission Directorate. And uh, with your help and support, we want to make sure that we're getting the absolute best science. Right. NASA is so, the only agency in the world that can do this kind of science, and, and really the best agency in the world, and we need to make sure that, that we're understanding it better every day. I just want to get clear. You, are you disagreeing with the scientific consensus, or are you <laughs> saying you don't know what the scientific consensus is? Are you saying that the scientific consensus doesn't exist yet? Wh which is it? I believe that the scientific consensus is that humans are contributing and have contributed to the climate change that we have seen. Are they the primary cause? It, well, it's going, to be, it's going to depend on a whole lot of factors, uh, and, and we're it's, still learning more about that every day. Okay. Uh, I in, so, in some years, you could say absolutely. In other years, um, you know, during sun cycles and other things, uh, there are other contributing factors that would have maybe more of an impact. Okay. But, we have, I, I got my answer. Thank you. Uh, to to uh, NASA's main three goals under the statute, earth science, space exploration, and aeronautical research, as you know, on uh, April 14, 2016, you introduced legislation, your American Space Renaissance Act, actually had some pretty good things in it. But one of the things in it is that you eliminated one of the three statutory goals, earth science. Why? Uh, that was not uh, what I did in the bill. Uh, some have construed that to be the case, but it is absolutely not the case. And in fact, there are provisions in there to help us get even, even better earth science. Um, that, that provision I think you're talking about is- Where you struck the goal? No, in fact, I said in there, there's another line that specifically says that we absolutely must get the best science that, that, that NASA can get, and that line is in there as well. Um, and, and so wh what I would say is, at the time when I was drafting that bill, the objective was to uh, enhance, basically create a pioneering doctrine for NASA for deep space. Um, and ultimately, that was, that was what I was working on in that bill. We did not address in that bill aeronautics in any way. We did not address earth science in that bill, um, although we did talk about the importance of NASA acquiring science. Um, so that was not my intent, if, if that was the way it was read. Well, it's not just the way it was read. It's the way it reads. The, the, here's the line. 
the expansion of human knowledge of the Earth and the phenomena in the atmosphere and space. That's the Earth science statutory goal for NASA, and that line was struck. Can, Thank you. Sir, uh, Thank you, Senator Schott. Senator Udall. 